Well, we just got the photocopies we need to head to the border and grab the animals. There's their paperwork here. So we're at the government agency to hand over the papers. Step three of the convoluted pet process for Nicaragua. And we're going to Costa Rica tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't take longer than the coffee shop. <laughs> okay, we have finished the pet paperwork. So now we're gonna be on our way to our campsite right next to the border tonight. And tomorrow we will be in Costa Rica. But first, we can stop real quick and grab a big old bottle of water, pour it in our water tank right here. Yes, a big garifon or uh, botellon, here. botellon or uh, jug of water. <laughs> I only know this one short now. Five gallons. Five gallons. We probably could get two. <laughs> Barely make out the two volcanoes there. I just had a nice long chat with the police at the checkpoint there. The reason being, we don't have a stamp from Nicaragua. We have a stamp on a piece of paper for our tourist card, but every other C4 country, we have a stamp, so he was confused. But the only reason we have one in El Salvador is because we extended our visa there. And the only reason we have a stamp in Honduras is because they don't recognize that they're in the C4. And of course you have the Guatemalan one because we entered the C4 there. But we don't actually have a Nicaragua stamp. It's gonna be a big day to the border. Basically, what you have to know about a border crossing is you never really know all the details. It's really about the problem solving process. Right now, we're going through the details of what people on iOverlander say. You do those steps. I'm thinking in our case how it's different, obviously COVID is different, pets is different. Here you don't need a COVID test, which is nice, but yeah, we're kind of studying up a bit for our test here and we're gonna just roll with the punches and I'm sure something will be different than what we expect. So when you cross a border, don't worry if you don't know everything. So we don't do paperwork for the pets every country, but we've heard and we've read that Costa Rica is pretty strict so they need you need to have all the paperwork from Nicaragua to get into Costa Rica which I assume will be better to get into Panama and then whenever we fly to Colombia eventually but this has been really hard kind of you have to like go to a veterinarian from Nicaragua and then well you have to go to IPSA which is the government agency to import animals into this country and then Centrex is another whole government agency so we just have to go to all these places and then of course they want to be paid and <laughs> and they just get a little stamp and we're good. And it's pretty wild that we pay $20 each for these animals to get some certain paperwork from a vet. The vet didn't look one time at either animal. We had him in there with us, he didn't even look at him. He didn't, I don't even think he pet some Brita. The government agency also didn't look or touch or see the pets. So we've done all of this paperwork for pets and no one has looked at them. Yeah, basically some border crossings, we never had to even do anything for the animals, especially US to Canada and back. We do that a few times going to Alaska. And we would just, the cat would be hiding over here something now we got the dog too and you do need a rabies vaccine every year for these animals but you might be able to find a vet that can backdate the date if you because it has to be a month before you cross a border too and the rabies vaccine actually lasts years but they require 
every animal get it every year. Well, we got the animal stuff figured out, but it's gonna be a big day. Of course, to prepare for the crossing, we clean the van. The first big question when you get there is where do I park? And thanks to the iOverlander app, we can just put a GPS pin route there, read the description, somebody says park behind this building and walk over there. And that's influential for us, the iOverlander app. I did a little volunteering for him at one point as a computer programmer, but uh, great people, great app. So now we have gotten through the door. We're driving up to the building where we're gonna do the immigration. Get a stamp. We're gonna go do the car's paperwork and the animal paperwork, all in this one building. So we did some paperwork on the Nicaragua side, leaving Nicaragua side. Now we're coming to the entering Nicaragua side where somebody's gonna check out the vehicle and the animal paperwork's over here as well. Came in stuff and the guitar. Fast through the scanners. We just had to put the tote full of camping stuff and Danny's guitar through a scanner. But that was a bit annoying. But now I've told four people that the pet person is not here. So hopefully they're here. They better be here by now. <laughs> and after that, police check of the vehicle and Doma Nicaragua. So we looked all over for this Larry guy for the pet paperwork and we finally found the right window. The other pet lady said we didn't need to do anything else, but they told us to find Larry here beforehand. Oh, I found the sign here. It's behind this tinted glass. Live animals. So now we have to find a policeman to check out the van. Oh, that might be one. Way over there. Hope I catch him. Okay, we got the police inspection. Emily's still working on the animals. I'm gonna go finish up the car's paperwork so we can get out of Nicaragua and start the whole other process. Well, I went back to the lady who I started the process with. Of course, she says I have to go to a different window. This is insane. Well, I was over at the window for the car's paperwork and it was an hour and a half long line. But I was chatting it up with the truckers and they sent me to the front of the line. It was super nice of them. Oh my gosh, and Ipsa, the guy just plugged each letter in like this. He was a pecker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, took, it took as long as Danny canceled the TIP and got a police officer to look in the van. So that was, that was a long time. So yeah, Nicaragua is hard to leave. <laughs> Here we go, Costa Rica. So here we're gonna get the van fumigated. Thanks for closing the fans. Yeah. <laughs> well, I went to ask confirmation and this is the way we're supposed to go. Sketchy. The police were so relaxed here in Costa Rica so far. I'm hoping that this half of the border crossing paperwork will be a lot easier. You can't just keep going, you gotta eat at some point. This process is too long. Yeah. So after some lunch, Danny went to go and buy some car insurance. I was not able to go with him. They told us only one person. I don't know if that's because of COVID, but it should be $45 for the car. After this, we have to go to a copy place that we have to find, and then we're gonna go to the Aduana, and then get our TIP. And after that, we will go and pay for the pets be imported and then we'll have to go back to the copy place get the receipt for that and after that we'll go to Sanasa and have the pets imported with the paperwork that we got from Nicaragua hope it all works out oh my gosh this is like crazy day much longer than any other border crossing day or maybe it just feels longer because it's so hot <laughs> here comes my savior 
He's been wandering around in the heat and I'm just pulling down the van for him. Not really doing much because I wasn't able to go into the car insurance place. But oh my gosh, Danny is absolutely killing it today. He's really, really killing it. Okay, so what just happened? Well, I got the car insurance. Check. Woo! $45? 44. Yay! Cheaper than we thought! <laughs> but what did happen is I ran into the lady who was also doing her pet paperwork when we last saw her in uh, Rivas. In Rivas yesterday. And she didn't get that final paperwork that the people told us at the border we were done. And yeah. we insisted. We were we said, like, nope. no. And so now she's having a problem. So that would have happened to us. Oh. But I told her where to go to find Larry. The the other thing um, that is kind of challenging with this woman is that she doesn't really speak much English or Spanish. So she's Russian and she's traveling with a dog and she's traveling all over the world, which is so sick. So it is quite hot out here. And Danny really wanted to sit in the van because he's been running around like, like all over the place. It's been really, really nice with him. Thank you so much, Danny. So I got to finish the trip by myself. I did it. Here we are. I talked to the lady in Spanish and have to get a TIP. Can't wait till we're done. I know, I can't wait for a shower because it is hot in here. I think here. we're about four hours in. We've been doing this a long time today. So we just got the stamp on the animal paperwork from Sanasa. Sanasa in Costa Rica. So this is the last step. <laughs> They're just gonna give us a receipt here in a moment. And we should be good to go into Costa Rica. We'll have to show a ton of papers. Leaving. Entering the official country. Yeah, leaving the border zone, of course. So. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay, gracias. <laughs> All right. Estamos en Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Ay, 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 ay. ay, ay. Woo! Pura vida. Ay, ay, ay. Sí. Pura vida. Pura vida. Woo! Yay! Good job, girl. Good job. So far, the Costa Rican roads are very nice. Well, after a very long border crossing, I'm sure you guys can guess where we're headed. for watching our border crossing video if you liked it subscribe and let us know in the comments see you guys next time when we get our first of a few visitors to costa rica